Okay, guys, Saturday is finally here, and we're pulling up to the vet office for Oliver's appointment. And just so everybody's caught up, um, earlier this week, Monday, I believe, um, we went ahead and sent in a blood test for EPM. It can take several days for those results to come in. And so we've known since Wednesday that, unfortunately, Oliver is positive for EPM. We have his medication already ordered. Um, it's called Marquise, and it should have been here Friday, but it wasn't. So we're hoping it's here Monday so we can get that started. So let's go see what Dr. Swope has to say and see what else we can do to help Oliver. <music> Okay, so we're gonna do the exam on Oliver first. We're gonna try and talk about nutrition, what I can, how much I can feed him, how much weight we can gain, take care of the she, and we'll go over the EPM results with the vet. So see what he has to say about that. Oliver is positive for EPM. We got the blood work back, but we're gonna show that results to the vet and let him kind of interpret it for us. I right. uh, just got him home Sunday from Texas and I could tell he had EPM just walking. We got the blood test back. I want to show that to you. Um, here, let's look at the blood test together. So, and the Western one came back positive also. Okay. They called me. So he's greater than one to 4,000, which means he's got a high level of mm -hmm. sarcosystis in him, which, uh, most of the time that does yes. equals EPM. Yeah, and you and can uh, see it in him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and walk him a little okay. bit. Okay. Do you want hey, me to go outside or in here? here is fine. Just do some little figure eight and let's see more. Come on. Get him going downhill. And yeah, he'll, let's come on. He'll stumble on his back end going downhill. And he's been getting worse this week. Mm -hmm. I, the medication's ordered, but I haven't got it in yet. But I know he's got other issues besides the EPM. That's why I needed a checkup today also. Okay, have you had any blood work done on him besides the EPM test? No, uh, I thought I was getting other blood work done on him, but they just sent an EPM. I, I asked for other so we can do yeah. one. I would like to run a, a chemistry and CBC on him. Let's check that. Yeah. Uh, when I got a sheath like that, I worry about his protein levels. A lot of times that's real low. I got him a protein good. block. Okay. And that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. I, I don't, I have a lot of options on feed. I have a bunch of Equine Junior. Okay. I have uh, the rice brand. What's that made by? Mana Pro. Mana Pro okay. rice brand. Red Cell. Uh, what's it called? Like the, show, the Maxi, Max E Glow rice Max brand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have uh, red, I have red, red cell, cell supplements. Mm -hmm. um, I have steam crimped oats. So, and I have kind of a stemmy alfalfa, but it is pure alfalfa what, hay. What cut was it? You know? what, what time of year? Don't know, but yeah. stemmy, so it had to have been summertime. Okay. And I have grass hay. And we have to start normal grass. So, uh, I would give him all he wants of both days. Okay, I am and, doing that. And uh, then grain wise, I'm not gonna tell you until I get the CBC because we may alter what we okay. tell you. Grain depends on what his protein level yeah. is. Yeah, like a two year old. Everything else is just new. Back inside there, everything looks fine. He lines up good. Does he have wolf teeth yet? No, he does not. They possibly have been pulled as he's yelling. No, he's still He's still steady. Okay, well then they probably have not been. Will he get them? Probably not at, at this age. Yeah, that is not normal. Yeah. And, and the chances of it being beans causing that are slim. Yeah. yeah. Really but slim. I don't think EPM causes that, does no. it? No. 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 It's so usually usually it's metabolic. So something in his blood doing that. Low protein is the number one thing. We'll find out on that. And that's gone up and down all week. It's, it's, let me see it right now. It's about as bad as it's been right now. Okay, good. Um, good. Let's know where we're, where we're staying. But he is peeing and he did just have his tool out. Um, you didn't not? you say, say, say that you saw blood in his stall? I did think I saw a little blood in his stall. 
Okay. In the shavings I was cleaning yesterday, uh, I couldn't tell for sure because it was shavings. Right. You know. Right. But and it was just in one spot, uh -huh. one localized spot by the wall. Okay. So. But I think that's... it was blood. Well, we'll take a good look at the clean clear of the ditch. I am not going to sedate this horse with that, that yeah. with that EPM raging like it is. He's having a hard enough time walking yes, on his own. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, and this guy's name is what? Oliver. And then I had a, I had a fecal sample done on Monday also, and it came back negative. But today I just saw a one inch long little white worm in his poop. Okay. In the so, trailer? Yeah. In the trailer. Okay, I'm going to that. Uh, I don't know. It may be it stepped on at this point. She knows where it was. Bring find it in the here worm, if you find Becca. it. Bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Oh, there's parasites right there. Oh. Huh. I almost picked that darn worm up when he pooped it out. I should have. But I figured when I described it, you knew was it was white. It was white as it could yeah. be. That, that's a brown worm. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Uh, brown worms. Uh, Ivermectin does not do a good job on round worms. Okay. Your pyrantails or your panicure safeguards do a good job panic on round Okay, so I can. Yeah. Panicure is easier on their guts, too. Very right? easy. So on I have worms. a lot of panicure. Okay. I have. Yeah. This is the three wormers I have. I have Quest. Uh, Quest Plus, mm -hmm. I have Ivermectin Gold, and I have a whole bunch of Panicure. Panicure is what he needs. Three days or four or five? One. Really? Mm -hmm. One to kill roundworms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the five days is it for even... insisted small strong giles. Should I go it's ahead and do it since I've got it? Wait until, wait until you get your EPM medicine. Okay. Do it at the same time. So tonight give him one and then... Give him one now and then run four more days when you start your EPM stuff. Okay. Which prob probably will be Monday is when we'd be able to get it, huh? If it's supposed to be on Monday, then... I mean, it's Wednesday. supposed to be here by now, but it's not. So. Yeah, I thought it would be in Friday. <laughs> you you never know if he's... It, what brand did you use? Is he bulking it from a pharmacy? Marquee. I Straight think. brand Marquee. Okay. okay. There's a lot of different ways to treat it. Yeah, I figured Marquis the most expensive, so it must be the best. <laughs> well, it, it's what? the one that's labeled for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I've used all of them because mm -hmm. I had a stallion that had it really bad, or I still have him, and he didn't make a full recovery, but he made a full recovery enough to run with mares and breed. Mm -hmm. But if you put him in a stall overnight, he drags his legs. Yeah. But you leave him out, you cannot diagnose it physically mm -hmm. by looking at it. Isn't that weird? So I wasn't clear. Oh. You still think we should give one? Safeguard, even if we start the no. treatment mo if Monday. You, if you're going to start the treatment Monday, just start, wait. Start the safeguard tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yeah, start it on Sunday, and that way you're, then, you're one day early, and just stay on it once a day for five days. Okay. Go ahead and put him in there today, or I will palpate that. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, buddy. <coughs> yeah, he normally, I mean, I've only owned him a week, so I don't know too much about him, but he's been pretty gentle about everything so far. <laughs> and now he feels like he's going to lay down on me. Yeah, he might be okay right there. Here he comes, good boy. Good boy. Think about it for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Texas. Yeah, we just got real pitting edema here in this. Oh. And this sheet that's prepuce is just. Bummer. Fluid filled. See how it dents in there, and it doesn't come back forever. Yeah. Yeah, there it's finally coming back. Uh, his wow. protein levels, albumin levels, really low. Uh, super, super anemic. I mean, this horse is like borderline needing blood transfusion anemic. So we're gonna, besides the red cell that you're on, I want you to give injectable B12 shots to okay. uh, Equine Junior, pour it to him. I mean, I want you to Great. start him out at about five pounds twice a day, and then I want you to just keep upping him a little bit more. Already giving week. him eight pounds a day, okay. twice a day. <laughs> okay, good, good start. So okay. three CCs, I am on that every three days. Intramuscular? Yes. Every, every three days. 
No, no we need some. Definitely. And uh, that does not burn. It's you'll, a, you'll give him the first yeah, one? Yeah, we'll give him the first one. I'll show you where to give it at. But he will uh, uh, needs to come back in six weeks or so, or wherever you want to take him. Get some more blood ran. i got a copy for you so you've got records of what, yeah. what his numbers are, but they are really low. So would the protein be low like that because of the EPM? No. The no? protein is low because he's been starved. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. he is on starved. I, I, probably was heavily parasitized also. Yeah. I've got him on a uh, protein block also. So that's fine. He loves uh, it. <laughs> anyway, chemistry wise, liver, kidneys, all that stuff check out fine. Okay. Uh, albumin drill low. That's part of the protein complex and that's why when proteins get low, fluids seep out of the vessels go to dependent areas so they swell in their sheath, they swell under their belly. The good news is they do that with other diseases too. This is Thank the you. only thing you can easily Thanks. fix. And you fix it with feet. Okay, yeah. good. So. But then his red cell count. Oh, that's paper I didn't bring out. I'll get it for you. But it, his uh, oh, red blood cell count is like a four where it should be a six and a half. So he's super low. Was he sitting, he was sitting right there? Yeah. Uh, so that alfalfa should be high protein too. Mm -hmm. Can you go there? He's been eating Okay, so we're doing a lot of the right so, steps. Anyway, penis wise, he's fine. He doesn't have a bean. He doesn't need clean anything like that. He just His your testicles are both fine. Did you check? Well, I did. The one was a little bit high, but he's young. Easy. It's okay. No, they're both fine. So, but the swelling, I mean, that obviously makes him pretty sore, right? Oh, yeah. Very tender. Very tender. Very tender. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I probably better wait on a farrier uh, until he's healthier, right? I wouldn't want to get underneath this horse as wobbly as he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's just not safe for a farrier to work on right now. Right, that's what I was thinking. No murmurs, which is surprising as anemic as he is. A lot of times when they've had anemic, they'll have a big heart murmur too, but I didn't hear one, so that's good. Is he healthy enough for any vaccinations? Absolutely not. Okay. No, the only reason we'd ever vaccinate him at this stage is if he had a cut or something like that. He'd need a tetanus, but otherwise, no. His immune system, it's not ready for anything like that. Okay. It just overloaded him. Right. Ah. Perfect. Okay. Red blood cell 4.47 should be a six and a half to a ten so oh, wow. that is super low hematocrit that's the percentage of blood 20. that is super low i mean these he is borderline transfusion if he wasn't sitting there eating so good i'd probably tell you to go to columbia and get one but wow. i think he's yeah, gonna he's be all right great with that. he's really hitting the alfalfa hard of course i mean he's gained probably i'll wait he weighed 905 pounds the day i brought him home mm -hmm. i can weigh him when i get home i bet he's gained 50 pounds good Good. White count is okay. That's your infection. That means oh, he's good. not running, not running an infection. Okay, good. All right. Here's that. And then, oh, let me give him a shot. Too. I got one last question for you. With the EPM and the way he's staggering, yep. is stall rest better? Or in my stallion, I noticed like if he uh, was out where he could walk, he was better. Yeah. I worry about this guy getting down and getting cast in the stall. I would, I would, out and about would be better. Three milliliters, so full syringe. And then in front of the shoulder, above halfway up the neck. Oh yeah, underneath the crest. So I know how to do this. Right there, and I give it fairly slow. Okay. Then wait a couple seconds and pop it out. Yep. And it does not need refrigerated. Okay. Okay. Do you know anything about the red cell? Um, like we, should, we shouldn't like overfeed that or anything. No, Just do what the normal. instructions say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Feed the normal. Yeah, it hasn't. It doesn't come, it doesn't with, a come with a scoop. Yeah, so it's so, a little confusing. Uh, I, it says something it's about pellets. ounces. I don't know if I need to get ounces. A little 30 milliliters. 30 milliliters? It's so pellets, little... though. Oh, it's pellets? Yeah, yeah. it's pellets. And we get a drive measure. I don't know what to tell you to measure then. I would guess just I'll, a little measuring cup. Yeah, dry. You know? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Okay, y'all. Okay, everybody. It was about like we expected, except for his blood work was even worse than we ex we thought. Um, luckily, all you guys have already helped him out with getting the equine junior, the red cell. 
So thank you guys for that. And exactly. we're going to get him healthy. We got the medicines for him. Um, he's not infected. That's good. The only thing that we're going to have to work on, and the really bad news is that he does have EPM really bad, like a high count of EPM. So uh, I got that medicine ordered and uh should be it should have been here friday but yeah. hopefully monday hopefully which monday we'll, keep, we'll be. keep you updated on all of that thanks for everything you've done for him um and we'll talk to you later so not the results any of us wanted to hear but we're going to be here for oliver and we're going to get him healthy and strong again with epm about 70 percent of horses treated will improve um, and then about 30 percent of horses will make a complete recovery oliver is such a special horse impacting so many people and bringing so many people together and we are fully believing that he is in that 30 percent We've had a few people asking about a Patreon account over the past week. So we finally got one up and running. So if you would like to support Oliver this way, um, you can check it out. The link is in the description of this video and also in the about section of our channel. Thank you for all of the love and care and support you have given Oliver over the last few weeks and our family. We really appreciate it. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll keep videos coming as fast as we can. But until then, God bless. Yeah.